All right, for diverging mirrors, it's very, very straightforward. All of them look the same. For diverging mirrors, your center of curvature and your focal point will be on the opposite side. Mirrors curve the other way. How we draw them is the exact, well, not exactly the same, but it's nearly identical. Parallel, but now it's diverging, so it's going to diverge away from the focal point. So instead of converging towards the focal point, it will diverge away. Your virtual ray will again go in the opposite direction as your real one, so it will go through the focal point. Here's the subtle difference between the converging mirrors and the diverging ones. First parallel through the focal point or parallel away from the focal point. Now this one is going to try to go through the focal point. So it's towards the focal point. But it doesn't quite get there because it hits the mirror first. What do you think it does when it hits the mirror? Not straight back, but parallel to the mirror. Virtual ray goes through it. Um, to the center of the mirror. Oh, yes. If it was going towards point C, it would have went straight back. That's correct. Each of these has uh, a ray that continues through. Notice where they all intersect. They should all intersect in the same place. You can just choose any two of those to work. The first two for diverging lenses, we can just make a list of these. Parallel away from F. Now, it's important to draw the virtual rays on this because when two virtual rays intersect, you end up with your image over there, which is a virtual image. Describe that image. Upright. Reduced. Virtual. Now, you can go through this sheet that I gave you and do them, but they're going to look like that. Every single one of them. The only difference is as you move closer to the mirror, this object moves closer and becomes almost the same size. So it grows in size a little bit, but it's always smaller than the uh, object. So if you were to make this chart, <coughs> and do it for diverging it's pretty easy to fill in orientation is upright for all of them size is reduced for all of them and it's virtual for all of them. so anything diverging that's lenses and mirrors. They always look like this. They're all reduced. They're all upright. They're all virtual. So you rarely see those on the APA test because they're just kind of silly to draw. You'll get them occasionally, but and I will certainly get them. They're pretty easy to draw after that. So you're welcome to just try out a couple on your sheet there uh, if you want to to see what it looks like. But they all look the same. Same.